back everybody, I'm Joey, this is Niall, we're the Northern Baristas and we're back for the second episode of the Love Heart Challenge. If you didn't tune in last time, we're getting very special guests onto the show to pour a heart into a cup of coffee and Niall, I'm buzzing about that. Let's see it, have a general chit chat. Yeah. Our next guest has been in the music industry now for almost 10 years, touring with Rudimental and others along the way. He brought out his debut album Marite at the age of 22 and more recently opened up Camel Fat's Dark Matter record with the title track Blackbirds. What a tune. What a tune. We've had it on repeat we have. in the cafe. We have. It's the one and only Leo Stannard. Why do the savage kind of man I want to be because I am part of this game? And I try to let you know what I know, but I know you. Leo, first of all, thank you so much for joining us, mate. Pleasure, mate. Um, obviously, we're in our third lockdown, mate. Can you believe it? What have you been it's doing crazy. to keep busy, fill the time, keep your mind busy? What's, what's been happening? My life's been quite similar since March, really, in the lockdown. I think I've actually worked harder since the lockdowns began, weirdly. Mm. There's just been so much work, music-wise. And I think, because loads of the DJs, I work loads in dance music, so all the DJs aren't touring, they're at home. So they want yeah. the tunes. I presume it's easier like over Zoom, like you know the time difference working with people in America and stuff like that. Can you do? Yeah, I did that last them? night. Yeah. So there was a guy in Oregon, a uh, new artist, and um, it was a bit annoying because I had to jump on the call at like seven at night. Probably I wanted to chill out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I know it was not ideal, but uh, it's all right because it's comfort of your own home. It's yeah. fine. I have like a nice little setup in our flat at the moment, so. It's pretty chilled. Yeah. Occasionally go into the studio if we need to, but nice. Yeah, it's all good. Like, and mate, um, obviously you've had the camel fat mm. tune that Niall touched on. Um, like that must be huge for you, because obviously they're such a big artist. You've got the opening track, Blackbird. Great, great tune. Please listen to it if you get a chance. Uh, the names mate, as well. Like, yeah, crazy, Jake Buck, Noel Gallagher. Noel Gallagher. Yeah. So obviously that must be huge for you as an artist. But then also, how does that come about? How do you, how do you collaborate with? You know, how does that how does that start? Something like that. That was actually um, they. I did a tune with a guy called Kidnap. I think he was called Kidnap Kid back then. We were both on a label called Black Butter Sony at the time. And so me and Kidnap did this tune moments, and then Camel Fat ended up doing a remix of it. But this was like five years ago, five six years ago, ages. And then so then about three years after that, they reached out to me. It's on Twitter. They just started messaging me saying. We're getting this album together. We've got so and so involved. Do you want to? Do you want to be a part of it? Right. Like, I said, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely do. And uh, they just sent like a couple of beats, like a couple of like really rough ideas. And um, I got in the studio with my good friend Jamie Harper, and we just sort of like spent the day hanging out, listening to these tracks, and sort of like gauging what would feel right for them and for me to be a part of it as yeah. well. And it was actually the first thing we sent them. Really? And I That's remember, amazing. I think they were on tour at the time. So I remember sending it and going, they weren't here this for ages. And then um, I can't remember which one of them, there's two of them, Dave and Mark, I can't remember which one picked it up first. And um, just pinged me straight back no and he was way. like, we love this. It it's going to be on the record. I was going to say, it must have been a lot of to and fro in calls, emails, but it was in one. Mate, and normally it is. Normally it's long and it's like yeah. management and labels. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, oh, we like this bit, but we don't like that bit. Can we meet up? Or like, can we do a call, or whatever? Amazing. And that can go off for months. But this one was like, we love it. Smashed it on, take it on one. But then I started to think that it might not happen because they took so long to finish yeah, the yeah. record. I think they had maybe complications with. Yeah, and probably COVID as well, right? That yeah, exactly. They were probably trying to delay the record, but yeah, I'm yeah, guessing because yeah. then like they want to play these. You know, they had God, these, all these huge like tours lined up. They had a massive residency in Ibiza, which cool. like all got pulled. Well, I saw they did a massive virtual one for, I think it was New Year's Eve, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it's great. Yeah. 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 Absolutely yeah. wicked. Touching on that in terms of you writing for other artists, uh, obviously Danny Jones, McFly, and ADMT, check them out if you've not. Good for you, it's that <laughs> banger, isn't it? Like, you know you get this brief, how well do you need to like know artists in order to write for them? Or do you not need to know them? You know, it's so different. So for loads of the dance things, I won't ever meet the people. So I didn't meet the Camel Fat guys until after we wrote the tune. And then we went into the studio to kind of like semi-finish it off, but to be able to spend the whole day just hanging out. Really? But with other artists, like ADMT, for example, he is, uh, I don't know what, what you class the music as, kind of pop. Um, but I will actually go into the room with him and we'll get to know each other really well. 
and chat about everything. What you want. Um, yeah, and we'll go through the process, you know, right from the start. It's not like a very separate process, which it can be in the dance world, where it's like two people coming, coming at it from like completely different sides and then meeting in the middle, and that's what makes something exciting. But a lot of the time, it's with an artist like Idiom 2, it's my job to help him write his song. It's not my job to like impress all my ideas onto him. Yeah, yeah. nice. So, mate, that was 2020. Yeah. You come off that and, and, and a great end to the year. Yeah. 2021 now. What's, have you got anything exciting in the pipeline? Because I know you're doing a lot of songwriting for other artists, aren't you? Is there any, mm. any uh, collabs coming up or anything? You can there's tons. I probably. Can you? There's, no, there's nothing confirmed with the release dates. Actually, no, there is. There's one thing. Um, exclusive. Exclusive. What's the date of it? I, think it's I don't want to get in trouble here, but I. 6th of February. Which is going to be. So, Jaded and Will Clark are both massive in that dance world, and it's like. It's kind of a whole new world for me getting to know it. Like these guys are insane because in their normal life, Will Clark especially, he'll tour like throughout the entire year, and he doesn't really live anywhere. He's kind of based in Detroit, he's from England, bases himself in Detroit, and just tours America like 300 days a year or whatever. So like this is crazy for him. So yeah, now he can't be doing any of that. He's right? back in Somerset at the moment. Wow. Like just complete. So you're doing a bit, of, a bit of work with him. Yeah, so we have a tune with, so Jaded and Will Clark have teamed up together to do this tune with uh, me and a girl called Marley Koa, and we created a, a separate artist project called Arca. So this is the first thing we'll be releasing as Arca, nice. in collaboration Ooh, with Jaded. I'll that. I'll locally link that below, guys, check that out. Really sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you're obviously a big Leicester City fan. So, I, I mean, I've wanted to know. So, you, <laughs> so in terms of your dream, you're a five-side player as well. Mm. What's your, who is in your dream five-side team? Past or present players? You can have anyone. You can put yourself in there as well. All, Le all Leicester City, Casper Schmeichel, Madison. That's the thing. I, I want to put Leicester City players in there, but realistically, yeah. could have Barney. Could have Barney. Mm. Five sides weird though, because it's a different game. I'm not sure Barney would be that good at five side. He's so quick. He wants yeah, to get yeah, in the space. Yeah. So Let's start with the keeper. Keeper, you, you'd have like I'd have Boo Fun. Always love. Legends, yeah. And then I might keep the solid Italian defence. I might have someone like um, like Maldini. Like. Um, then I'd have Kante because he's just everywhere. Yeah, It'd be unbelievable uh, yeah, yeah. at five. Imagine yeah, just tapping yeah, all the time. You're not conceding, are you? No. <laughs> well, I'm setting up a defensive base here. Yeah. So what's that? Is that That's three? Oh, right, very defensive. And then uh, I'd have Messi for sure. That's oh, probably yeah, three. Yeah. Probably have Ronaldo. I think I just have those two. Really right. Solid. I mean, it's a very current team. Yeah. But I think you do well. well. You do well to beat that team. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I also want to know. Right. I'm going to give you two choices here. So, Leicester doing the treble, and then headlining the King Power Stadium to celebrate that, mm. or or headlining Glastonbury on the fifth of Friday night. Which one? You might get in trouble here as well, but yeah. I'd have to head like that. You've got to. You've got to. I'm sorry. Got to. Like, I want to be the selfless guy, but that <laughs> would just be the same. Yeah. You couldn't turn that down. Friday yeah, night as well. Be, yeah. It would make your career as well. As soon as you, and like, when you've done that, you do anything. That's it. Yeah. True. And then hopefully that's Lesser Royal won in the league yeah. anyway, so it's... Remember, yeah. You're at it. Shall we fire some quick yeah. fire questions? Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. You, you, you go first. Yeah, five quick fire yeah. questions. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm. I just need to remember mine. Yeah, I've got right, okay. Thing. Yeah. Right. Studio alive. Huh? Studio alive. <laughs> <laughs> you need to slow Start again. A bit slower. Start again. Studio or live? Studio. Gallagher Brothers. Liam or Noel? Eating out or take away and eating in? Eating out. If Leicester could win either of these, Premier League or Champions League? Champions League. Already got the prep. Easy. Italian blood, pasta or pizza? Pasta. 
Happy me as well, to be fair. Uh, yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? I do Brilliant. Love a piece of yeah. Right, and what's that lead us on to, Jerry? We're going to do a quick, a quick little practice with uh, Leo, and then we're going to get right into yeah, the challenge, right? Screw up. Times four and a half. See you in two. Shine on. <laughs> Guys, we're back. Leo Stannard's Love Heart Challenge. Take it away. Open cover. There it is. Oh. Go on, Stannard. That is lovely. Oh! <laughs> Let's go in the Love Heart Challenge. That's a great effort. Leo Stannard, you've been brilliant. Thank you for joining us Cheers. on the Love Heart Challenge. Guys, remember to give it a like and a subscribe and make sure you check out Leo's new project out on the 6th of February. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Shine a light on that. Shine on.